Let's take a closer look at poison ivy. It's a pretty gnarly vine, it's not an ivy at all, but it does have leaves. The leaves are compound leaves, which means every leaf is gonna have three parts, three leaflets. And so the rhyme goes, leaves of three, let it be. And that's because you don't wanna touch it. There's an oil on it, which is, and actually it's an adaptation for the plant to help it retain water. But if you get that oil on your skin and you're an upper primate, and you, you do happen to be, then you're gonna get yourself an itch. Everybody's susceptible to it. And that oil is around even when it's in this state, the vine. Okay, let's look at some leaves. You see, here's a compound leaf, a palmately compound leaf, that has five leaflets, so it's not quite right. One of the ways that poison ivy will spread is if a bird like a chickadee eats these berries and the seeds pass through the body and that chickadee deposits them elsewhere, you'll get new poison ivy vines. Take a look at those hair-like tendrils, those rootlets holding the bigger root vine onto the tree. Whoa! The other species of vine that we have growing are safe to touch. There's grape vines, there's Virginia creeper. The bark is usually flaky or more bark-like. What do you know there's poison ivy growing right next to it? Look at this, it's reaching out from the tree. Poison ivy grows on the eastern half of the United States. You'll find it most in floodplains where their soils are wet. You've got wetlands and streams and rivers nearby. It only has two other close relatives in the state of Ohio. You know what though, this is a native plant and it feeds a native wildlife. So it has its place in the ecosystem.